All right, here we go. Second match of the day. This is winner's side. This is, uh, I'm not sure if this is the final four or the hot seat match. This is, we're deep in the tournament here. Do we know the status of this match? Final four? Final four on the winner's side. So this is, the winner here will be playing for the hot seat next. They're in the top, top three. So this match is worth the money. It's probably uh, guaranteed at least 1600 for third place. Might even be a little more than that. Might be 1700 because it's 2500 for second. Might be 17, 1750. Do you know, Mary? Boy, you got here just in time, Mary Kaufman, to bail us out again. I'm going to reward you, Mary. I got something for you. I got mint cookie. Okay. <laughs> Shane McMahon to break. He just won his last match with Roberto Gomez. Our other two people in the tournament are Billy Thorpe and Justin Bergman. On the winner's side, the other two. So these are the final four right here. Okay. How much does that pay? Do you know? And how much is third? Fifteen hundred. Okay, so the difference is six fifty for fifth, six, and third is fifteen hundred. So there's eight hundred fifty dollars on the line in this match. Once again, the winner of this tournament will win forty one hundred. The winner of the ten ball. Uh, Justin Bergman won 3,800. Andy Hughes signing off and leaving us. The mayor of Las Vegas in the pool world. Mm -hmm. Shane got stuck behind the four. He's got to jump this ball. He jumps real good too, though. He's all he's got to do is hit the edge of the three, and I think he'll make it. Well, he made it all right. He made the cue ball. He made the wrong ball. Advantage, Rob Saez. He's got it his always, name on the board. He's got know, his name on the board as Hector Saez. It always feels so good to win the first game, doesn't it? I'm telling you. God, it just seems like the pressure's off. Yeah, I mean, it just feels so good to win the first game. I want to ask you something. How long have you known Rob Saez? Not very long. Oh, really? Years. Yeah, oh, really? Years. I've known him almost 20 years since he was a kid. He's a, he's a 40-year-old man now. And I never knew that his first name was Hector till today. That's really We've always called name. him Rob. Yeah, he showed me his ID. His his name is Hector Rob Saez. Well, that's funny. I never, yeah. You've never seen his name listed anywhere as Rob. I mean, as I Hector. Never, no. Well, now we know. Look at this shot. Fell a little short there. Yeah, wow, he fell way short. He's still going to cut it into his right, cut it in the corner. Only danger here is that cue ball is going up towards the far corner. He might scratch. Yeah. Look at that. See? Yeah, that was close. He's all right. Just shrugs your shoulder. No big deal. Game number one, Saez. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing on the string. What they say? The other side of the board is uh, Billy Thorpe and Justin Bergman. So, Are they going to play in the, t uh, the streaming match? I'm not sure if they're going to play next or not. Or are they playing now? I'm looking out there. I don't see him. I don't. See, I see Skyler playing. He's on the loser side. Well, the winner of this match will then be playing the hot seat match against the winner of Bergman and Thorpe. The usual suspects. I see Larry Neville, Max Everly over there on the outside table, Stan Tarango. I don't see Shane. I wonder if Shane got knocked out. Did he get knocked out of this tournament, Mary? Do you know? On the loser side, he lost to Rob yesterday. Yeah, he's having a rough tournament. He's already out of this? I don't know. We're going to check right now. He finished fifth and sixth in the uh, ten ball. We saw how he went out in that tournament. He missed an easy out. Well, 
the five goes, so this is pretty. I'm, I'm not going to be able to call him Hector. I'm going to call him Rob because I've known him by that name for 20 years now. He started coming and playing in the U.S. Bar Table Championship when I was running it like 18, 19 years ago. Pardon me? Oh, Shane's out? Okay. Out of the nine ball? Yep. Well, he's got the eight ball left. Well, who beat him in the nine ball? Well, Rob put him on the loser side. I don't know who knocked him out. Our marketing expert, Mary Kaufman, is looking it up for us. Don't get behind that nine ball. Oh, my goodness. Man. That was a uh -huh. cardinal sin. Well, he he hit it like he was trying to make it. And Can't believe almost he, did, he but didn't get there on the ball. He should yeah. have been sure he went past that nine. Jason Klatt knocked, knocked Shane out of the tournament today. Well, okay. Hill Hill. So we have no Shane Van Boning in the nine ball tournament. Wow, that's crazy, huh? It's unusual for him to finish out of the money in any of these tournaments. But it can happen. Look at this shot. He's still good, but he's, yeah, he's okay. He's okay. Come up way short. We're going to be tied one game apiece. Shane's got a little advantage because he just came off this table. He's playing back to back. That's mm -hmm. the first time we've had that happen. We're, uh, well, actually, other than the uh, final matches of the 10 ball last night. I got a feeling if he keeps winning, he's going to keep playing all his matches on this table. Because I'm sure the hot seat match will be here, too. Shane has really had some problems racking. He inverts the rack. I don't know if you notice it, Bobby. He's, he's the only one. He's got that magic rack upside down. Why is he doing that? that that's the way he likes it. So it works both ways, apparently. <laughs> I call this the Cory Dual patented soft break. Oh, he hit. He actually put a stroke on it. <laughs> I don't know, but look at this. The three goes, the four, the five, everything's hanging again. I love it. Make the corner ball, have a shot at the one. But as, as we saw in the last match, both players were breaking the same way, and both of them were very effective with it, but it came down to just one or two critical mistakes by Roberto Gomez. Yeah. And I'd say these two players are very evenly matched as well. It's not so much who will play better, it's who will play error-free pool. Because in a match like this, one mistake can cost you the match. Perfect. No, he's all right. Yeah, I think he can uh, 
shoot that six in the side and draw the cue ball to his right yeah. and hold it for the seven. Yeah, he's got to jack up on it a little bit to draw it, but he should be okay. Well, famous last words, and he made it anyway. In nine ball, that counts. He might as well have shot it straight in. So a little bit Look of a this. good break there. Look at this. Whoa, man. He just got there on that eight. He almost got hooked. Shane was a little wobbly, this rack. But on the scoreboard, he's got a two-to-one lead. Wobbles notwithstanding. Well. That's a pretty deep subject, Bob. <laughs> I've been waiting five years for that, that line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stay out of this, Mary. <laughs> Edgy Geronimo's over there playing. Another very good Filipino player. Just like the rest of them, Rob's got that breakdown pat. He does have to come dump table for the two ball, though. The two is up there by the four. and It looks like he's got to get. It don't the, even go in that pocket over there. Yeah, he's got to, he's got to get on the right side of this two ball to make it in that lower left corner. I don't corner. think he can get there from there. He he's going to have to draw the ball. He's going to have to you see. Look at this. He's got to put a big stroke he's on this miss one. Miss all these balls over here. Come on, he hit it. But he, hit it he didn't get there. You called it. He didn't get there. Yeah. That was, uh, this patented break doesn't always work. It's not perfect. Yeah. God forbid they have to shoot a hard shot every once in a while. Easy, Bobby. Easy. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, really. Instead of shoot, shoot and connect the dots and shoot and stop, they got to shoot a hard shot. Oh, no, they got to move the cue ball six feet. Well, Shane's got to do something to get from the two down to the four. He's going to have to go down table and back. Yeah, they're not used to these tough, these tough shots like Don't this, worry, he can they? handle it. Don't worry, this guy right here can handle it. Look, well, an APA four can, can get down there with the, from here. Come on, come on. Slow really? Down. No. Slow down, slow down, Bob. No, really. I like the way he hit it, though. I don't think an APA 4 is going to hit the ball like that, though. Okay, a 5. I'll give you a 6. <laughs> <laughs> I'll raise you a 6. Yeah. I'd probably be an APA 3. I don't know. I've never played APA. Be it's going to be fun to watch the 8 ball because it's not going to be just shoot and stop. You know, probably the two most successful pool players of our generation were Terry Bell and Larry Hubbard, the guys that founded the APA. No they were kidding. two pool players. They were pool players. Yeah, Larry know. used to run around with Siegel. I know them both well. I know them both real well, too. Well, you know Larry passed away I know. I could, two years I ago. I was so sad. God bless him. He was a great guy. He was a great guy. They both made millions off that APA. They bought Louis Roberts out for 1500 Something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. When it started. Well, shame on Louie. Yeah, yeah, he didn't know any better. He didn't think it was going to amount to anything. Yeah. I remember when Terry was telling me about it at the very beginning, and I wasn't sure about it either. It I said, there's already back then. Yeah. But i got to give those guys credit. They, they did a really good job, and they built something huge. They got like 300,000 players now. Oh, I know. And it's getting bigger all the time. They're expanding to other countries and things like that. Boy, if they ever get in China, forget about it. It's all over because there's 80 million pool players there. Another perfect break by Shane McMinn. Everything's look shoot and stop. The one, the three, the four on the side, five in the corner, six, seven. So sweet.
Just draw this ball straight back. Yep, 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 yep. So far, so good. He's got to go forward, put that cue ball between the six and seven. That'll do it. So and Andy Hughes puts up a picture of me and you doing the commentary. Yeah. And D. Sands says, you know D. Sands, right? Sure. He said, I remember when they all had hair. At least they can still tell great stories, some of them true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, D. <laughs> Thank you, D. That's very funny. You're a comedian just like Jay. <laughs> That's funny. Shane's got a commanding lead here, four to one. Is it four to one now? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, where is D? How come he's not at this tournament? That's funny. Where is he hiding? I don't know where he lives. When did Andy Hughes take a picture of you and me? Just a few minutes ago. He's like Alan Funt. Oh, yeah? He's like candy camera? Yeah. I never even knew he had a camera on him. Man, that guy he's takes, he's, he takes a, more pictures than anybody. Uh oh. He only made three balls. And the the table sprung a leak on that shot. Look how these balls are sitting. <laughs> and the eight's sitting. The only ball that's a little funny is the eight. Both these guys are making fast work of these racks. That last match seemed to drag a little bit. Yeah. It took almost an hour and a half, which is surprising. This one started like 15 minutes late, didn't it? Well, they, they, they felt like practicing. Yeah. It's good. They're playing. They're moving right along now. I'd make him shoot it. I, listen, with the cue ball on the rail, on the, you'd be can, shooting it every time. That ball can skid, can do anything crazy. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, you might make a bad hit on it with the cue ball on the rail. And it was a, kind of a goofy angle. I'd have made him shoot that ball. I'm surprised. Wouldn't you? Well, Rob gave him the last one. Yeah, but But, still, but this was a lot tougher. That was a, that was a, yeah, it was a tricky little shot. Yeah, I'd have made that's like shoot. giving a guy a four-foot putt. Yeah, I would. Giving the guy the ten pin on the spare. <laughs> you don't have to hit it. Yeah. You seen how they bowl now different when they hold the ball up in the crook of their arm? Right. You I seen never that? Yeah. So there's one guy that does it. He's he's averaging like 250. The ball is going like a zillion miles an hour down the lane. He he holds the ball with two hands. Right. right. And he holds it with two hands and throws it. It's amazing. He was blowing everybody out of the water for a long time. Now there's like three or four more doing the same thing. What's that thing. guy's name? I can't remember. Yeah, I watched it one time and I said, what the heck is this? I've never seen bowling like that. I'm telling you, he's throwing the ball a 1,000 miles an hour like that with a giant hook. It's amazing to watch. Yeah, the, throwing, the, throwing the bowling ball with two hands instead of one. He's going to go to the hit right there by the middle diamond where that where he just put that chalk. Come two rails down and for the float down there. He'll hit that yeah. chalk. Watch right there, bam. And look, look at this. He missed the one. Wow. So they are human. They will miss balls. 
if they're not Can't careful. He missed that one. That wasn't, yeah. that wasn't that hard of a shot. Well, he had to cut it pretty severely, and he yeah. didn't quite cut it enough. Rob might need to get a break cue here. I mean, not a break cue, a jump cue, sorry. Again, Rob's going to have to go to his bag to put his jump cue together. This is a three-piece jump cue. There's two pieces. One more. You know why it's three pieces? Because it's a it's a two-way jump cue. Depending upon the shot, he'll take that little butt piece off and make it shorter. When but the balls, long are, jump when the balls are closer, yeah. Right, right. He's got to go over two balls, the three and the nine. But I think he can do it. And the good news oh, yeah. is if he hits the one anywhere, it's going in. Well, you got to hit it, though. He gave a ball in hand there. Wow, I can't believe he missed it. He got over the balls, too. Yeah. Does that, one, does that two go past the five ball in the corner? Yes. It it's, looks like it's it. It's tight, but it'll go. I think it'll go. We'll find out soon enough if he plays position for it. And he did. Come up short. Well, he can hold the cue ball kind of right there for the three. A lot of room. I think he can just kind of bump the nine ball and hold the cue ball for the five. He didn't even have to touch the nine. He's jacked up. He should have bumped the nine a little bit. Or drew back. I mean, yeah. like, it's still all right. It's still. A... You know, I notice, it, Bobby, the way they break, they make the game so easily. What happens, they get a little careless. You still got to concentrate. Yeah. This time, Rob gives him the last two balls. He said, you don't even have to get to the nine ball. Mm -mm. Shane McMinn's leading five to two. <laughs> Tied up like a... You wanted that seat, man. I'll trade you. I'll trade you tomorrow, man. You can you can tie uh, me in knots. Yeah. Robert, Bobby's in a seat where the wires all run around his leg. Got me know. all tied up my leg. Yeah. They're all tied together. He's going. I'm, they're going to be one time you're going to stand up and you're going to fall down. You're going to trip and I, fall I, down. I tripped yesterday. Oh, getting okay. out, trying to get out of here. Okay. I promise I won't laugh too much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that three and eight ball are tied up. I don't think the, I don't think the three will go. He, he no, knows it, too. He's got to do something here. That's a part of the game. But see, like, if he if he were to get on the two and he'd get down here by where they, the six is, shoot the three, three rails, parking behind the eight, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's just so simple. It, you know, it really is. Which you which you, which that that wouldn't be any good playing push out because well, well I, this is interesting. He got behind the two ball. I don't think will the two pass the two five. Go. No, he's oh, he's playing it. safe with this watch, ball. Watch which one. Here's what he's gonna do. Here, watch. He got that. He just got him. It's it's close. No, I think he can hit it. He almost gave up a shot on that too. He can hit the side of the ball, I believe. Oh, he can definitely hit the side of the ball. He could jump and make the whole ball, but he doesn't want to. Why does he? He doesn't want to jump and make that ball. He wants to come across the side of it and bring the cue ball down table. He'd like to put the cue ball behind the three and the eight. Yeah, he, he kind of flirt with the scratch a little bit, but he's got a yeah, pretty good yeah. window there to get in between them balls. I wouldn't try to make this ball, would you, Jay? I mean, what's well, he could he could play a two-way shot where he tries to bank the two cross corner and bring the cue ball. Oh down yeah, behind I thought the you, I meant straight in. Yeah. Oh no, I don't think he can shoot it straight in. No, he can't. No, he's going. He's try coming to go. off the left side of this yeah. ball. 
I think this is going to be a nice safety there, he here. Yeah, he got him more. behind the 3-8. Yeah, yeah. Rob's going out of that corner. I'd like to hit the back side of this ball. Oh, he's going to have to spin it, but he'll hit it. I, I think he'll hit this one. Yep. But he's going to give up a shot. Meanwhile, the 3-8 remains a problem. Uh, he, he's going He's going to duck again here. Uh, he's not going to try to cut this ball in, is he? No. He banked it. You know, he could bank the three ball, but. He ain't going to get no shot at the five if he does. <laughs> I think he's going for it. Yeah, he's loading up a little bit. No, that was. That was. Look a little sloppy this game, don't they? Yeah, that was. You know, Rob may play the three nine combination if the three doesn't go past the nine. If he does, he's got to jack up and hammer it. I think. Yeah. He can't roll this ball. He's got the right angle though. It, if he hits it straight yeah, on, it looks like yeah, it, yeah, he's doing this the right way. Just like that. Ooh. You see how hard that ball hit the pocket and still wouldn't go in. Look at this. You know, if if Shane can see the bottom edge of the three, he could play oh, the nine ball oh, with he, the cue ball. I bet he makes it. Well, it's not that easy. You got to have the right English on it. You got to hit it just right. No, I believe he's going to make it. A little bit of top right. I'd say he's 50-50. Well, he played safe all the way there. Did he leave a window? Yeah, I think Rob can, can see that three past the eight ball. Wow, that's pretty pretty lucky for him. Rob was just playing safe. He just wanted to hide the cue ball behind the eight, and he did a good job. Yeah, he, he did hit, he hit it good. I this is not a one-inning game by any means. This game's been like six innings already. Playing nine ball, how freaky is that, you know? Yeah, especially the way they break the balls. Just goes to show you it can happen. Every game is not a gimme. Wow, look at this. He parked that cue ball right behind the five on that kick shot. And he got to go across table to hit it. It's tough. This is not the easiest ball to hit. Look at this. Hit it right in the face. Boy, look at it. It's like one hook after another here. Shane's going to jump this six ball, try to make the three. Once again, you hit the edge of the three, it should go in. Yeah, well, they all went in. Rob is going to start to close the gap a little bit here. Win this game, he's all two, only two games down. Neither one of these guys wastes any time, do they? They're just getting up there firing away. Even on their safety play, there's not a lot of wasted. It's such a contrast to what we saw last night. Oh, I know. I was... Boy, that's the truth. I, I guess I prefer this style of play. <laughs> This will be game number three for Rob Saez, or Hector, as he now is called. Shane to break. Uh-oh, I got trouble. Mr. Ben Black has arrived. Bob, you know my friend Ben Black? No. Say hello. Robert, pleased to meet you. Ben is actually my roommate in L.A. We share a house together. It used to be my house, but now it's our house. 
<laughs> he just kind of moved in and took over. He's bigger than me, so I can't say much about yeah, there's it. Much you can do about it. Yeah. Well, he's good looking, and he promised he'd bring some pretty girls over, but he never does. <laughs> Look at this break. We might. Look at this. Three balls and the one ball straight in. Dink, dink. Does the four go by the five? I think it does. Can't really see. I know it goes in the bottom left hole. Look at this. Look at this. He's way out of line. He's trying to. Yeah, it goes by. It goes by there. Thank you, Steve. Looks like he's got to play position off that nine ball. Yeah, I know. I agree. As long as he doesn't bump the four. If he plays position off the nine, he can shoot the four in the same pocket as the two. Well, uh -oh. that's not what he wanted to do. He, I'm kicking this. I'm kicking yeah, this he, ball. that's a big ball. That's a real big ball yeah, to kick hit. in. And the cue ball is going to come around the five. And he can hit like you hit a little inches. speed. You got like a four inch. You know, the yeah. ideal place to kick is if that if that four ball is like a quarter of an inch off the rail, you almost can't miss it. Oh, yeah. That's, and that's exactly how it sits. There's no way to miss he it. He made it. He made it. He's all right here. It's a cut shot, but he's got a lot of pockets to play that six ball in. All he's got to do is keep the cue ball in play. He did okay. He's going to come around and shoot it he in the made corner. A great shot. Yeah. He, made he just didn't shot. want to hit it there. Yeah. He didn't want to hit it. As long as he went around it, he'd be okay. Real. He made a great shot. And it's another gimme. And it's 6 3. There's a famous Mad Maximilian walking across the room. I forget well. how many good players they got here. I saw Josh Roberts go by that Manny Perez, another great young player. Skyler Woodward. What's his name? Woodard? Woodward. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's break. He's jacked up. Don't so be I... making fun of my friend Skyler. He started going to the Philippines this year, and he keeps going back. I wonder why. I think he went first time last year, and now yeah, he's, no, he, yeah. he's gone like – 16 times in six he months. Come, he going to come back with a little honey next couple trips, maybe. He's got a honey over there, don't worry. I promise you. Don't, don't tell his mama. Don't <laughs> tell Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shot. This might be the one of the best shots in pool history here. Hit that ball like that. That's nice speed, nice everything. I like banking the three and trying to put the cue ball on the rail, getting it three over there, hiding behind the four, se the four seven. He's going to try to do hide the cue ball behind the nine. Well, I don't he, like that. He used the four seven and the nine, yeah. but he didn't quite get there. No, he didn't get there. Shane can't see enough of it to make it, though. But, you know, if he can come across that ball, there goes Max Heverly. If he can come across that three ball like he did before on that other shot, he can lay the three ball behind the five. That's what he wants to do. He want, Well, now he's looking like he wants to. I'll tell you what, if he tries to kick that ball that way, he could scratch. If he tries to get under the three ball, he could scratch on the side. It's a little bit of an awkward angle, but, it. well, he just turned it loose. He just totally turned it loose there. He, he, I think he got away with it. I don't think the three goes about down by that. He shot it like he was going to make it. Yeah. I don't think the three goes by the five. It's well, real the, close. The three, well, 
he's looking at the side pocket. He's trying to slide that ball in the side pocket. I don't like that. It's hard to tell from here, but it looks like a, it looks like a really hard shot, and he hit it good. Nice shot. Nice shot. Is all I can tell you. Rob's hanging on to this match. If he wins this game, he's two games behind. I think he's going to try to go two rails here. Yeah, I think so. Come back over. Oh, That's we it. hit it good, too. Hit it perfect. Yeah, hit it just perfect. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. He's going to go forward with inside English. Shoot the nine in the same pocket. Right. And as the custom in this match, the opponent is giving his his player at the table the nine ball. They've been doing that almost every game. Rob's been giving up the last two balls. Some tournaments you can't do that, Bob. You know I've that. seen Earl give up the whole rack Yeah. before. Haven't you? Yes. Mark Tad used to do that, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. He just sweep the balls. I, I remember that. I remember. Yeah. I'll tell you the funniest thing I've ever seen ever. Ronnie Allen was playing in that tournament. It was at the Disneyland Hotel, right? Right. 30 so, years ago. So listen what he does. He's playing Morrow. Right. And they're going back and forth about Ronnie not freezing the one ball. Okay. You remember the story? No. You, it's the funniest thing you've ever seen. Everybody's watching. So Morrow says, I don't care what you do with the balls, just make sure the one ball's frozen. Ryan says, okay. So he puts the, he puts a one, two, and three on the spot and the back six on the rail. <laughs> and the place busted out <laughs> laughing. Yeah, he freezes the one, the one yeah. two, and three and took all six balls and put them in a triangle and put them on the back rail. Ronnie was a funny guy. A, he was quite a he character. Was a character he was quite a character. And then that same match, I th it was Hill Hill. And uh, this is so funny, Jay. The same match as Hill Hill and Ronnie hooks Morrow. And Morrow makes the greatest kick shot you've ever seen in your life and made the ball. Right. And had like the eight ball straight in the hole and missed it straight in. And Ron, I think Ronnie won the match. But it was the funniest thing you've ever seen because after Morrow kicked the ball and he's, you know, Morrow had like the biggest smile ever and he's walking all around. Remember how Morrow just used to bounce around? Oh, yeah, he was the great. I used to call him the Mexican jumping bean. Morrow's great player, too. And one of the nicest guys to ever pick up a pool cue, right. by the way. And and help Morrow heals himself because he just had a real severe stroke recently. Yeah. So everybody, He's still in rehab right now. Everybody say a little prayer for Morrow, Ismael Paez, because he's a class act, buddy. Boy, we had some great characters in pool. He was a funny, funny guy. Morrow's a great guy. Meanwhile, Shane's moving right along. He keeps maintaining that three-game lead. Keeps the pressure on Rob Saez every time he breaks. I wonder what they're going to say on never mind. I ain't going to start. No, we don't need to talk about that anymore. We wore that one out a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, I just had to mention Morrow. Morrow is one of the best guys ever. Seven four. I heard he's doing a little better now, but still convalescing. They say that getting old is no fun. I wouldn't know because I'm not getting old yet. Well, Rob stuck it behind the two, but looks like Shane can just go down to the end rail, and it's a real big ball to hit. This one's a lot harder to make because I'd, that I ball's an inch it, off the rail. I'd hit it pretty hard. Good shot. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's but that's ball in hand to Rob Saez, but look at that two and four. You think he might try to 
I don't think he's going to try to three foul him, right? No. Not yet. Looks like he's going forward to break these balls up. No, he's going behind him. He, didn't oh, he got a little too close there. Another well-executed safety by Rob Saez. Shane says, I've got no problem with this. I've got my jump cue. He might make this ball. It's close to the rail. Yeah. If he hits the edge of it. But the cue ball's going all the way up table. Whoop. That's what I was going to – I was just getting ready to say that, but you – did I interrupt you? You didn't give me a chance. <laughs> he didn't give you a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anytime you're jumping at a ball that's on the rail, there's always a danger of the cue ball climbing that rail yeah. and going off. Well, Rob wanted to get a little bit higher than that on the three, but he should be okay. He's going to play the three and then probably play that four-seven combination. Yeah, it's sitting pretty easy. Oh, uh, well, I like how he hit it. Nice he got shot. perfect on this. He got perfect on this. I like this. the way he plays, too. He just gets down and shoots the ball. Yeah. You know? Meanwhile, this one, it's a little tricky. Not the combination, but where you leave the four afterwards. Oh, it's going to stay right there. The four ain't going nowhere. You got to hit it like. Well, I, that's why it's four ain't going. Just like I said, it's not going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. Bobby, pay attention now. I'm just, Come on. You just, you just, He's all right. He's all right here. I'm on two. Just forget about it. Sing it, Bobby. Sing it. I know. I know you're a good singer. You, you ever go? You ever go with the Filipinos karaoke? They, they love it. They can't stop singing. They know. They what love it. What is this? Is there something in here? Hold on one second. There's some chocolate in there. Be careful. Chocolate mint. That's. I brought some chocolate mint cookies up here. Little bites and. Uh, Better hurry. Something Look better. out. Look out, five ball. All right. Shane's looking to see if he can put the cue ball behind the five. It's mm -hmm. a little bit of a tight fit here, but I think that's. No, no he can't, he can't uh, look. Now he's going the other way. He's coming off the bottom of the one ball all the way down to Two rails, two rails. Put it behind those balls just like just this. Like this. He did it. No, he didn't. Oh, no. It, well. It snuck out there. Not that much. Not that much. This is still a problem for Rob. I mean, he can he can either hit a little masse, little half masse, or jump it. And he's going back for his jump cue. Now, this one is using his short jump cue. The short version. Remember the first jump cue that came out? Yeah, those. The frog. Yeah. One of them. That was one of the first. Mm -hmm. Robin's. Robin must have sold 10,000 of those. Wow. Look at this roll. And he's, and he's jammed up that's, against the five ball. That's cold blooded there. Yeah. That's cold there. Buddy. Well, you've got very little control when you shoot a jump shot from that distance. I know, it's still to yeah. make, make the bumper just freeze. Yeah. As fast as that cue ball is going, just stop there. 
he doesn't have much choice here except to shoot for that near side rail and go one rail into right. the two. But this is this is a very hard ball to hit from where he is. I believe he's going to hit it. All right, I'm a, we're going to bet on this one. No, stop. <laughs> you don't want to try to get your $2 back. I think you're going to hit it. I really do. Okay. How much did we bet that time, no, Bobby? I just can't. Boy, no. you, you pulled up just in time, didn't you? I'm telling you. <laughs> I pulled up quick. I mean, everything's hanging again. I mean, that was a tough. Shane's got a ball in hand, and he can get on the hill here. This match has gone fast. Shane McMahon might be not be as well known to everybody as some of these name players like Skyler and Shane Van Boning and, and even Rob, but believe me, this guy's capable of winning this tournament. He had a good tournament at the U.S. Open last month. Mm -hmm. Had a couple high finishes. He's okay here. He's kind of straight, but I think he can move down for the eight ball. He had to force it a little bit, but no so problem. Put him on the hill. He's going around the nine. Rob says that's good. You don't have to shoot it. Have we seen anybody shoot the nine ball in this match? Score is actually 8 5 Shane McMinn. Scorekeeper sleeping. We're going to have to get a new scorekeeper. <laughs> I know it's a tough job. <laughs> <laughs> I better be careful because there, the, there's a director there. He might, he might demote me. I might become the scorekeeper. He might be start doing commentary. Probably a lot of people be happy. <laughs> be careful. I got fired. You better be careful. They love me. Uh, yep. Is there going to be any more women's matches on this streaming table? Or I'm no? sure when we get to the final matches. I know we'll have the probably have the women's final for sure. The women's hot season next match? And who's in that? Probably the same girls. Sure. Who's that? Who's playing, Bobby? She's going to play Jessica or Susan Williams, and Jessica's one she already played. Yeah, same thing. two girls, yeah. Rebecca Wagner and it may yeah. be Jessica again. Uh, he, he They're dominating two. this tournament. Oh, well, this time he gave Rob the last two balls, the eight and nine. Scores eight to six. Shane breaking for the match. Brett the Jet. Brett, what's that, man? Huh? Thank you, sir. Hey, I'm in, right, Bobby? Am I in? You're in for a little jelly. Uh -huh. Here you go, babe. Right there, I told you. I told you. <laughs> you don't like cheese, huh? Hey, I hope you told him to wear a long, longer shirt. Who? Brett. Oh, no. Remember what happened yesterday? Oh, I know, yeah. Somebody oh, no, he's got his shirt tucked in. Thank God. Somebody that put was, something up there yesterday. Well, I think on they, put the picture, they put the picture they on there. They said crack kills. Crack kills. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, come on, that was a little – that was beyond funny. Look at this, got the whole family here on this mat coming up yeah. to play. Got the whole – look at this break. Look at this. And this could be it for the match, too. Hello, ladies. Just kind of slide forward, shoot the two down in the end. All he's got to do is shoot this two and get past the four ball. Get on the three. He got a little bit of a funny angle here. This is really not where he wanted to be. You know, he wasn't really straight enough on the two there, Bobby. Yeah, I don't know. He's going to can't really tell from here, but it looks like he's going to hit the five. He's going to hit the five. He's got his work cut out. Boy, look at this. He got a little Boy, bit this. jacked up, just enough to make this hard. He's I think what you got to do is you got to just roll this one in, too. I believe so. Boy, he's, very, he, he's, he's, he's lucky he gets hurt. That's Ooh, what he, he did. He's good, too. He can just shoot this five in with a little bit of right English. As yeah. long as he goes around the nine, he'll be okay. He hit that four good. That was a tough shot. Yeah. But just getting a little funny on the two made this rack get slightly more difficult. Yeah, he doesn't want to hit that nine ball. I think you got to use a little right English and slide mm -hmm. around it. I believe so. He is. Wow. Look at this. That ain't it. He's hooked. That ain't it. It's like exactly what he didn't want to do. He had and he even he went down even and looked at it. He didn't even spin the cue ball whatsoever. He it came off the rail straight ahead. I think he thought he was going to bump it out of the way. I'll tell you what. Everything's going to change right here because if Rob wins his game, he's breaking. And it was, and he could make it hill hill here. Shane is not too happy with himself. I mean, he had that match in his hand. That. Eight he, to seven, put, Rob if breaking. He, if he puts a little right spin on the cue ball, he goes right around that he ball. He hit it flat. Did you see? He came around and looked at the nine, and he thought about, you know, yeah. I'm going to bump the nine and move it out of the way. But why flirt with the nine if you don't have to? I hope he can't hear us. Don't worry. If, even if he can't hear us, somebody's going to tell him later anyway. <laughs> Couple of them snitches on AZ Blues and be all over it. <laughs> Slow Wait. down. Slow down, Bobby. <laughs> I, think, I think a couple of them work for the CIA. <laughs> Preacher man, whatever his damn name is. What's his name? I don't remember. I'm trying to forget. <laughs> Quit lying, Jay. You just don't want to say anything. No, I, I don't, don't want to talk about it no, no more. No, we no. had a conversation about it in the first match, and we That's don't really it. have to talk about it anymore. No, yeah, because, you know. There, I don't want to be on my, on my conscience right now. No. I can't believe that he didn't spin past that ball. That's tough. He's steaming right now. Oh, Shane said that he had that match. And it's a big match. This, is a big, this match is worth almost $900 difference. Look at this. Uh, Rob got them balls funny. I'm not so sure he can even see the one ball. Have we seen a push out in these nine ball matches yet? I don't think so. We Not might one. see one now. We may see a push out now. I mean, I don't think Rob wants to go to that end rail and kick that one. No, he's going to have to. I would kick behind it two rails. It looked like Shane had this match in his pocket, and all of a sudden it got very interesting. At least he's breaking on the hill. That's one the way the balls are breaking, I mean, you, the, guy, the guy's a gigantic favorite. And Shane's breaking good, too. Well, he was a gigantic favorite with two balls left the last game. I know. Didn't spin, didn't spin over. 
Cobb's pushing out for a jump shot. And I think Shane's going to take it. But would, you saw I it. I would take it. It's so yeah. that ball might fly. He might make it fly off the table again. Yeah, right? look what he did last time. I yeah, would, he passed no, it back. Yeah. He got smart. Anytime that ball is that close to run, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go on the floor. I'm going to tell you something. Rob is not going to lose his cue ball here, and he's going to hit the one. That's my prediction because he's close enough to the three ball that it's not that difficult a jump shot. Now, making the one, that's another story, but I think he'll hit it okay. And he did. It's all kind of the luck of the draw, and this time it went Shane's way, but will he take advantage of it? I think with the angle he's got, he almost has to run into the three ball after he makes the... Oh, yeah, he's going to hit the three. Yeah. But who knows where it's going. Can he recover from that error he made that cost him an early win? I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. He's okay. He got away. He's all right if he doesn't go behind that ball. Whew. That ball just stopped in time. That cue ball stopped just in time. He, he was about ready to another, get hidden behind the sense. Another half a roll, he'd have been behind that oh, ball. Oh, look, he's real good right here, Bobby. Just roll up an inch. He can go forward, shoot the four up in the end. Mm -hmm. and can he up, complete this rack? Just roll up like a half an inch past the ball. I think. Hey, he's, got, he's got a little bit of an awkward angle on the three. He, the cue ball's rolling away from position. I know. It, he, could, he could get behind the eight. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. Like half a ball. He's going to have to go forward a little bit. Ooh, what's he doing? Is he trying to draw back I and shoot the four on the side? No, he's, no, he's he, going forward. I think he's going all the way to the rail. He's having second thoughts here. I mean, if you're... If you're going to go forward, you got to you got to go all the way to the end rail and come back out, and you got to make sure you don't hit the nine ball. You hit the nine ball, and you're in trouble. Look at this. Look what he's done. This here. is no good. Well, I think he rolled far enough to make the four, but yeah, boy, but he's, yeah, tough, tough shot. he's making it tough. He's making it tough. This is not an easy shot. I'll tell you that. You know, with his stroke, he could have drawn that ball up and shot the four on the side, but. Anyway, here's where he's at. He made it. Well done. Nice hit. He's not out of the woods yet. He's got to draw his ball here. Here, all he has to do draw is just rail. make the five and use that little bit of low right English and slide off the, the opposite rail. If he can execute this shot, he'll be good. He did, too. He did, he did too. I like his chances now, Bobby. Yes. I bet you. I bet you. Rob doesn't give him this nine ball unless he's straight, like you know, hanger position. Let's see. Well, he got perfect position on the eight. Yeah, he's going to give it to him. All right, Shane McMain pulls it out. He wins nine seven. We're going to take a short break. We're going to come back with another match. Who we got here? Here's the result of this other match, the one who's going to play Shane next. Justin Bergman is playing Billy Thorpe, Thorpe and uh, he's leading 6-4. to four. So the winner will play Shane. Okay, we'll take a break now.